Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do a book review, which is exciting because I haven't finished a book in a while, and now I have one. I've been going through a hell of a reading slump, but I didn't even grab the book off of my shelf. So I'm here today to talk about Autumn by David Moody. I picked up this book last year sometime. I can't honestly remember when I bought this, but I was going through this phase of where I just wanted to read a lot of horror stuff. And this one came recommended to me from, I think it was on Goodreads actually, it just kind of popped up there. I'm like, oh, that doesn't sound too bad. Maybe I'll pick that up, see how I like it. Um, honestly, it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Uh, it's about a small band of survivors who kind of come together um, during what turns out to be a zombie outbreak. They don't know that yet. It starts off with just like 99% of the world just pfft, dying. They just die. They all just like erupt from their throat. Some sort of weird like infection in the lungs, I guess, is what it is. They all just kind of cough and then start to die. And then this group of people ends up together. They live like peacefully for about a day and then they start to fight. Um, yeah, and it just sort of follows them doing their thing, trying to survive in this weird hellish world. So I'm going to list off some pros and then some cons and then maybe some closing thoughts on this, but like, uh, so pros, I thought the characters in this book were kind of fun. They, I mean, they're kind of just tropes in a lot of ways, but they're done well enough where it's entertaining to at least read them. Um, no one in particular really stood out. I read this book, honestly, last week, and I'm just filming this now, and I can't remember anyone's name from this book so like the characters don't really stick with you but like while you're in that ride there it's entertaining to see like where they go what choices they make like what stupid ideas they have I really enjoyed the pacing of this book it kinda just immediately dumps you in there with like everyone starting to die and that's terrifying but then like the bodies just sort of stay dead for a while and they just slowly start to become like hostile zombies but like the hostility doesn't show up until, like, a good chunk into the book. I can't remember exactly how far along it is, but, like, it takes a long time for these um, zombies to go from, like, dead bodies to walking around punching things. Like, it takes a long time. Um, and I felt like the slow progression of them being nothing to them being hostile really added this, like, tense atmosphere where, like, you know things are going to go bad, but, like they don't really know because they don't understand what's happening. It was just, a, it was a really good way to do um, zombies, I thought. So cons I have for this, the first one is the book never actually uses the word zombie and I don't know why that bothers me so much but that's something about zombie fiction that I just can't stand is when people don't use the word zombie. Like has no one seen Romero? Everyone knows what a zombie is these days. It's okay to use the Z word in a book. It's, it's okay. You can say zombie. It's not a bad word. Um, another thing that drove me crazy in this one is the narration of it. It kind of jumps around from person to person, like, within the same chapter. Like, you'll be getting things told to you from this woman's point of uh, view, and then all of a sudden it switches to another survivor and everything's told from, like, his point of view. But, like, it happens in the same paragraph where, like, um, you're point of view just like jumps from person to person and it's just it's kind of frustrating and I don't really like books that are written that way I like to follow along with one person for an entire chapter or at least a good chunk of a chapter and like have clearly defined chapter breaks when we're switching from points of view that's just a personal thing and it drove me crazy in this book so that's that's generally it for my pros and cons of this book um, all in all I enjoyed this book it's the first one in a series of four, I think, and there's even a movie um, based on this book, which I'm going to probably give a shot. Uh, I gave it four out of five stars, but, like, that was a generous four. I would say, like, more like a 3.5 out of five. I don't really like giving half points, but, like, yeah, It's not quite good enough to be a four, but it's still better than a three, I would think. Um, so, yeah. Um, leave a comment down below if you've read this and what you thought of it. Uh, I got links to social media and all this stuff down below if you guys want to talk more. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Yeah, no, that's it.